During our trip to Iceland, we encountered more and more of these small, picturesque houses along the way. With time, I decided to have a closer look at the past of these intriguing buildings. Building houses from turf was a tradition implemented by all social classes of the Icelandic society from the time of the first settlers in 9th century to the mid 20th century. Icelanders always had to struggle against the extreme climate and lack of proper building materials. Therefore, the tradition of building turf houses was born. It is thought that in the 9th century, when the first settlers of Iceland arrived, Iceland was covered approximately in 40% in natural birch forests. Icelandic birch, however, was close to useless in building anything more than doors and frames, so sometimes wood from old shipwrecks was also used. But what is a turf house and how was it constructed? Initially, the first turf houses were mostly very similar to the Viking longhouses, which you can find in other Nordic countries. The houses from the Viking Age usually started with a solid foundation made out of flat stones. On top of it, wooden frames were built which were holding the turf. This is a reconstruction of a Viking turf house from the 10th century. As you can see, it's all covered in turf and a solid wooden door is added. These doors were usually beautifully carved. Norsemen, however, used the forests for wood for constructing ships and houses or burnt it for warmth. As a result, Iceland was being gradually deforestated. That caused a new style of turf houses to evolve. From the 14th century, people started to build smaller connected houses. In more recent times, some changes in the construction style were made. To have a closer look, we have visited a village which is small, but was very important in the past. We are now in Holar village, which is primarily known for its medieval bishopric, but also here a few more modern turf houses are situated. These are primarily from the 19th century. In the 18th century, a new style of turf houses appeared. In place of the small door from the Viking times, now the complete wooden front was added. Even though in the olden days, turf houses provided the best isolation possible, does not mean that they were comfortable. They were very damp and so some elements would rot very quickly. Therefore, they were in constant need of maintenance. Also, it was common to abandon such a house every year and build a new one. Whenever something was cooked, the house would fill up with smoke. These houses were usually also quite crowded, as the whole family would live there along with the field hands and normally everybody would sleep in one room. The houses were the place where everybody slept, ate and did their indoor work. Another downside was that it was actually quite dark inside them. Throughout the 20th century, the turf houses were being gradually replaced with houses made out of wood and corrugated iron. Today, 
Most of the Icelandic buildings are made from concrete in order to withstand the harsh weather conditions. And they are very practical, but just not as cosy anymore.